Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Destiny video. Today Fantasy Flight released a few more spoilers for Spirit of Rebellion. These were spoiled by the three-man meta, so there will be a link in the description to where you can check them out. First card up here is Maz's Goggles, a uh, yellow hero upgrade. One resource, one focus, two focus, one resource, one resource, special in the blank to play spot a yellow character, so you have to have a yellow character still alive to play it. Um, special is look at an opponent's hand and discard an event from it. This is going to fit really well in mill decks. First of all, it's cheap. It's only one resource. It has two really good focus sides. So you have one and two focus, so you can focus into your other mill or special. If you're running this in like a Padme deck, you can focus into her special. If you're running it with Cunning, um, you could potentially get like a triple uh, special resolution going on. You could um, resolve the special on Maz's goggles, look at their hand, discard an event, and I like that it's just um, an event. It doesn't have um, a cost associated with it. So some of the stuff is like discarded event that costs less than this. This is just discarded event. So if you're playing against, like, let's say, a Stormtrooper deck, and you look at their hand and they have endless ranks in there, just have them discard their endless ranks. Um, so again, you could um, get rid of an event with this. If you have Padme on her special, you can also build a card at the top of the deck, two if you pay a resource. And then if you um, have Cutting Out, you can activate Maza Special again or Padme Special. Uh, this is really going to fit well in like support decks and mill decks, I think, because you're going to focus into the mill sides to mill. If you're on the special, you're going to you know look at their hand, discard a resource. It's also going to work well with the other cards like Friends in Low Places where you're going to look at their hand and you can discard anything that costs, I think, like one or less. So those are Maz's Goggles, Legendary. Um, I'm thinking if I get these, they're definitely going to fit into my Maz and Poe deck, even though that's not a mill deck. Um, it has a lot of focus, so I can focus Poe into his um, higher damage sides, his special, and other things. We're going to move into the next card. All right, we are back with We Have Them Now, Red Villain Event, two resources. You can only play it if you control the battlefield. Turn up to four of your dice to side showing damage, either ranged or melee. Uh, this is pretty awesome. So you pay two resources. You essentially get a four focus out of it. Um, one thing that might hurt it a little bit is it doesn't have ambush, so you can't use those those uh, four dice right away. So your opponent, when it passes back to them, can still um, they can still dodge it. They can still remove dice. They can still react to this in some way. If you can find a way to get this to have ambush... Uh, this would just be insane. So if there's maybe going to be a red card that says give the next red card you play Ambush, something like an Infamous for red, that would make this incredibly strong. So you pay two resources, give an Ambush, and then focus all your dice and do damage. I think they didn't give it Ambush just because it would probably be overpowered if it did have Ambush. So this is going to work well. Um, it might work well in three or four character decks. Uh, one downside to that, though, is you might not be claiming the battlefield as often as you want. So one thing you might do is, on one turn, roll all of your characters out with squad tactics. If you, squad tactics, if you're running four stormtroopers, you can roll all of them at once. And let's say you roll fairly well. The next turn, resolve damage, claim the battlefield, setting yourself up for we have them now. Um, beside that, though, I, don't, I think if you're not using squad tactics to roll everything out, you're probably not going to be claiming the battlefield as much, and you're not going to be able to make use of this card. I think this might work well, like better with something like a like Grievous and Dooku, where you roll them out with whatever upgrades are on them, um, do damage, claim the battlefield. The next turn, roll them out again, and then play. We have them now, and do a bunch of damage on the next turn. Because one set, thing that you need to do is you do need to control the battlefield before you can play it. So I think that might make it a little bit harder for decks that are um, that are slower or like better, more controlly, or just running multiple characters. Like if I one turn roll a stormtrooper, next turn there you go, I roll another stormtrooper. Next turn they do something, I roll another stormtrooper. Um, it might not be you might not be claiming the battlefield in that situation just because four character decks tend to be a little bit slower. Like I said, the exception is if you're running something like uh, squad tactics where you can roll them all in at once and then. Uh, the next turn, resolve a bunch of dice and, pro and possibly claim. So that's we have them now. It's going to be interesting to see uh, how this card plays out. This could potentially 
Uh, if you have enough damage, you can probably just like defeat a character right away. I also like the fact that you can do it with ranged or melee damage. So I think this is going to pair up really well with the Vibro Knives because if you have the Vibro Knife in your pool, all your melee damage is considered unblockable. So you can just do a ton of unblockable melee damage. That's why I said it might work well with Dooku and Grievous. We're going to move into our next card. And the final card shown off today was Premonitions. Neutral blue event, zero resources. It says, choose one. Set this card aside and stack a card from your hand on it face down. Or play the card stacked on another copy of this card for free and discard the set-aside copy. Uh, this is going to be really interesting. I think it's kind of similar to uh, the Force is Strong. However, you're not having to... You're basically playing this, playing a card on top of it. When you get to your other Premonition card... You can then um, play the card that's on the other Premonition card for free. One thing I really like about this is it gets cards out of your hand, so they can't be milled. They can't be like manipulated that way. Um, also, if you did it with like say like a really expensive card as far as like resource cost goes, um, it makes it so your opponent can't look at it with a Kylo special. And also, you're getting cards out of your hand. So if you have five cards in your hand and you play Premonitions. And a card on top, you're down to three cards. And then if you get Mind Probe, you're also somewhat mitigating damage from Mind Probe as well. Because you're having this card set aside with another card. I do like that if you come across another one in your deck, you can play it and then get that card for free. So if you have like a Force Lightning, and you're playing this with Palpatine, you can uh, place a Force Lightning on it. You come across your other Premonition, play it, play Force Lightning for free. And um, I think this is going to pair up really well with stuff like Holocron. So you can... Um, you know, Holocron, a really expensive upgrade in, put another expensive upgrade on Premonitions, play your other Premonitions, get that other expensive upgrade, so you could have Palpatine with, say, like, Force Lightning and Mind Probe on him for, um, for free, essentially, because you could, um, Holocron is zero, this is zero. It does take a little bit of setup time, because you're going to have to get Premonitions in your hand, get the card you want to play on Premonitions, play them, and then get another copy of Premonitions. Um, same thing with... Um, Holocron, you're going to have to have Holocron plus the upgrade you want to switch out with Holocron as well. And that also implies that you need to roll the Holocron special, or cutting into it, or something like that. But I really like Premonitions. I think it's going to be an interesting way to uh, get some of these more expensive upgrades into play, maybe especially like more expensive blue ones, like again, Mind Probe, um, maybe Force Throw, but also like Force Lightning and things like that. Or you can also uh, play put Rise Again on this, get another Premonitions, and play Rise Again off of Premonitions, pay zero, and heal five damage from Palpatine or whoever, whatever character it is. So, some really interesting cards today. And again, these came from 3-Man Meta. Again, there'll be a link in the description where we can check them out. I want you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll be back um, with more Star Wars Destiny videos. Until then, I want you to take care and have a good one.